Hi guys, we're at the uh, LMAX booth at Copitex 2017 and we're with Kevin. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell us some of your water cooling products. Uh, you have a pump with the RPM reader, very impressive because I haven't seen many Thank of them you. around. Yeah. And I, your colleague said this, this thing here is a pump with so powerful they actually pump 20 meters loop. So we're going to check out some pumps. Let's go. Okay, um, as, you inside, yeah. okay. as you can see, uh, we've got three different sizes. Yeah. Okay. 100, 200, and 300 more. Uh -huh. okay. And then all these three uh, come with the um, RGBs, so uh, you can actually sync with the RGB motherboard just like that. Which motherboard? Uh, this is this motherboard. The uh, ASUS. Yeah, uh, and then, uh, we are actually actually uh, having a certification with ASUS, uh, MSI, uh, as well as like ASRON, and then uh, later on we're going to have the um, Gigabyte as well. Okay, so this is all RGB motherboard ready. And then of course we also consider people don't have the RGB motherboard, so we give it this remote control. So the remote control with the RGB? Yes, I mean if, cool. even without the, um, the motherboard, you can still do the changes. Yeah, see? Ah, how impressive. Blue, it's blue, green, orange. So tell me, do they have multiple speeds of the pumps? Yes, and then the speed of pump is ranging from 1,400 up to 4,000. So the quieter, 1,000, it goes up to a full speed? Yeah, 4,000. And then of course, I mean, you can use a remote control to control your speed uh, with the interval of 150 RPM. Okay. okay. And then most importantly, I mean, uh, we actually consider uh, the usage for this pump and risk of a combo. So you can not only put it uh, uh, vertically? vertically, but also horizontally, horizontally? Like that, okay. which is definitely safe with that. All right. So these are the quarter thread, uh, G quarter thread pumps, yeah. right? They're yeah. Things. Got, okay. yeah. Okay, and then the pump is our NMX pump. It's not like the pipe, but it's been tested and proved. It's much, much powerful. Let me show you uh, from this uh, demonstration. Yeah. Okay, uh, as you can see, normally uh, the main, mainstream of the, uh, we know like D5 and other mainstream uh, pumps, normally it's like 4,000 pound RPM mm -hmm. to having the hydraulic head okay. for 4.8 meters, but for us it's 5.2 meters. Okay, right. so and it's uh, very, very powerful. powerful. It, it is very powerful. And then, and this is why we've done the uh, demonstration here. Uh, this, the loop, as uh, you just said, at 20 meters, okay, and then you just check it out. Uh, there are so many bends, okay, there are so many bends uh, within this 20 meters loop, and this RPF is still under 4,000. Under 4,000? Yeah, it's 3,500 to 3,600 at so, the moment. So yeah. even with a higher RPM, it could even... Yeah, they can push it higher, I say. So, so that's mean, you know, you, it's okay. to reduce your noise, okay. but you still have uh, enough power to push the power. All right, so obviously with uh, pumps and reservoirs, you will also have radiators, right? Yeah. So this is the yeah. This is the uh, what about one. new concept, uh, Leak Tech Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we hope this can be uh, become a, a, a finalized product very soon. And this will be the first uh, dual pump um, all in one. Oh, so uh, a pump on the uh, CQ block yeah. and also a pump inside this radiator. Yeah. This is the pump one. Oh, it's a pump inside here. Okay, cool. Okay, and then because we have these two pump at once, so it acts like the redundant function. All right. But, okay, so. So to make sure this uh, so in, in fact, if, imagine if accidentally if this fails, then yeah. you have another you pump still have this pump, so right. it's still, keep it still running on the, the four pin uh, yes. connector, and right? Yes, I mean the PDP is still, you can keep it at like 400 watt, okay, so it's safe. Okay. Yeah. So in other words, it's more like, you know, everyone is doing a half load at a time, right. but if you say why it's failed, and then you know, mm -hmm. the other one can take over. Okay. Okay. Great. And then, uh, so for that, because you have dual pump, so we come with 240, 280, and 360 meters. Okay. A millimeter, sorry. This is a uh, 360, right? Yeah, 360. The 240? A two, two, this should be 280. 280? Yeah. All right. Okay. And then um, also, we also have in the RGB function as well. You can see there's a wave uh, a sensor here. Oh, the sensor, okay. Yeah, so when you wait, I'm not sure whether this is the right one. Okay, so what does the sensor do? Uh, the sensor, once you wave, and you will actually change the colors. Oh, so you don't even need any remote control or anything, no, just wave I mean, the center? Yeah, and of course we still have the, oh, you uh, still give you the, we still give you the remote if you need it, okay? And then if not, you can just wave at that. Uh, and then currently, okay. this is supposed to work up to like 30 centimeters, even with the, um, the tempered glass. All oh, right, okay, so nice, nice. Yeah. Okay, so water cooling, pumps, reservoirs, got it all here. And then um, this is something interesting because our projects actually <laughs> use a lot of water cooling. 
And then you have fans, RGB fans. Yeah. This is actually our new RGB fans. Yeah. Okay, uh, as you know, I mean, if you, without this halo side, this is uh, NMX pattern, circular type of LEDs. And this year, uh, we have come up with an idea. With the ring? We have a bit of both. So we have the halo, halo ring at, at, at this outside. Uh -huh. And then also have our uh, circular type of LED inside. Okay. okay. And then it can be controlled through this color genie box, which is like that. Okay. Uh, it's all control, all controls up to uh, six fans. Uh, oh, so five fans. Four, four fans. Four? Yeah, it's eight, It's supposed to be eight ports. Eight ports. Yeah, eight ports, and then you have you can have uh, four RGB fans on that. Yes. And then of course, uh, we still have other uh, connectors that you can connect to any uh, LED light, any LED strap that you like. This is demonstrating the the power of the fans. Yeah, this, this is, is the fan. This, this is, is fans this spinning all the balls inside? Yeah, this is the, our DF Sum. This is the other type of product. Yeah, this all is right. more like industrial grade. Industrial very, grade. Very powerful. Super, super powerful. You can see the golf, the real golf balls, right? It is, yeah. You can feel really? it. Okay, it's okay. Wow. Check it out. All right. It's solid golf, golf ball. balls. Solid golf balls. And it's inside this thing here, this ball, yeah. this glass okay. ball. Well, just <laughs> and then this actual fan is actually... Uh, Spinning the airflow, allowing it to spin, the ball spins. Ah, pretty powerful fan. Okay. Feel it's very powerful. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Very powerful. Okay, let's put it back. Put it back, take it out. See? It starts to spin. That's interesting. See that? Alright, nice. Okay, so I see some of you got some cases. Uh, yes, we do have some cases. Alright, let's, let's check out some cases. So NMX chassis. Right. Uh, as we talked yeah. about RGBs, so this is our brand new RGB case. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, it's called Saberang. Okay. Saberang, yeah. Yeah. And as you can see from the outside, it's got the, a very bright LED from the front panel and then extended to the top panel there. Okay. Check it out. Okay. And then also on the side, you can see uh, what is makes it different is the new design. Uh, Oh, 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 check it out. It slides from the front like that, down. Okay. And then because with this, we actually redesigned the, um, the handlebar. Mm -hmm. So you can see um, you've got this rubber things on the side here. Rubber grip? Yeah, yeah on top. So, so in the future, you can just very easily to move your system oh, around. Oh, so it's like a, almost like a, not a, hand, a carry handle, but it's a yeah. grip. So you can actually lift your uh, system. Yeah, I see this uh, near this flow meter. See the flow meter right here? I <laughs> yeah, quite like that. Meter, yeah, but that's the, uh, it's not really our product. It's, it's not your small. product? No, it's not. Oh, right, I mean, okay. we, we basically will do this uh, reservoir and pump. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, as you can see from the inside, you can support up to nine fans. So you got a quick release at the front. You can oh, see yeah, one, check it out. Two, quick release three. front uh, fan grill here. Yeah. yeah, one, two, three. And then on the top. Quick four, release five, fan grill. Six. So that's three, three, front, three, the front, three, three to the, the top. top. And you got the back? Seven. Seven. And then on here, eight and nine if you like. Oh yeah. So yeah. if you if you don't want, if you're not a fan of the um, the liquid cooler, you can put it here. Eight okay. and nine. So it gets about up to nine fans. Nice, nice. How much uh, are these available on the market right now? Uh it's still it's less we we'll hopefully probably uh, it will be hitting the market probably around one twenty. Yeah. Or one ten. All right. Yeah. Q? Q uh no, probably Q four Q four September with that hope. Okay. Okay. And Great. Then, so this is our RGB fan. Oh, by the way, I haven't really mentioned it. Uh, because it's our RGB fan, we have designed a, a clip here. So uh, it can sync with your motherboard. All right, okay. okay. But again, uh, we offer the options where you, it's a switch. So switch you, you disconnect the signal from the RGB uh, and then motherboard. You can control, you can, you can it control by, your, yeah, by yourself. All right, okay. nice. Uh, I don't know where my guys live. I think yeah. the power button, I think. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. All right, cool. So, so you can yeah, just you know, count the controls. Okay, and now, nice. See, see, now is the, uh, the, the, the mother will take the control of it. They're all quick release panels from the back here and the side. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. I saw this earlier. I like the fan. This is a, uh, this is a chopper, uh, an advanced fan. Yeah. Okay, let me, let me stop it for you. Okay, so you're using the, uh, the four LEDs to make it um, a very... Uh, different patterns so it's come out with like 32 different patterns of uh, a lighting effect okay and then based on the same chassis this is our new silent case okay so um i said um uh, because share the same chassis but yeah. we just make some different improvement on that so this is the um the, 
the NT um, oh. sound insulation rubber. Check. Oh right, and that's really soft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this so will insulate the sound. Yeah. So and one also side, robot airflow. Two sides, three sides. Same and thing, right? Three. Yeah. yeah. Three at the top, and then Absolutely. yeah, one, same. Yeah, so it's night. Yeah. Night. Okay, so we're gonna have the, the sound insulation for three sides, and then on this side we're gonna use the the um, the, the, the reinforced glass. Mm. And the glass itself on the side we have the rubber seal, so nice. make sure it's silent on that. Okay, great, okay. great. And so then for this, it's not really um, like RGB thing, so it's all settled, you know, very settled red combination. That's it. All right. And this is water block is all your NMAX water blocks as well, right? It is our water block, but it's still we're still uh, so trying to assess whether we're to produce this or not. Uh, <laughs> seats, I told yeah, you, right? So NMAX, uh, we're, we're known for chassis, power supplies, and obviously cooling. But then, uh, new to the market, I believe, right? It's all the water cooling, exactly, the pumps, yeah. reservoirs, the water blocks. So yeah. we'll see more of that uh, in the future, and uh, hopefully we'll do some more mods for from the kit using NMAX products. Okay. You have some uh, power supplies, I believe. Let's go and check out some power supplies. Okay, quickly. let me from this and show you. So yeah. you can, I can demonstrate to you very easily. Okay, this is our new uh, titanium uh, power supply. Come with two wattage. Uh, these are the uh, kilowatt version, uh, 1250 and 1000. Uh, this is the uh, 80 plus titanium, right? Titanium, titanium. Okay, and then uh, what it makes it so different <laughs> is it got the, the wattage meter. Okay. So you can read a live, oh, oh, wattage. live wattage reader of the draw of the power, right? Exactly, yeah. And okay. it would be very useful for someone who is using a, a system. Uh, Is this all modular cables? Yes, and they come with this kind of sleeve max uh, cables. Oh, check it out, nice. Yeah, and normally for retail, this could cost you $100. Yeah. Yeah, and it would come with it. This is okay. a really nice cable yeah. management and uh, the cable wraps yeah really nice okay and then because it's so high efficiency and it's got the uh, 60 and 70 percent of semi fanless and then what's more is because we think it's semi fanless so quiet already because <laughs> the film won't right. really See, work it's check it out it's nice. running two radio on 580s yeah. yes yeah. with the quad channel memory on the x99 board and it's still not spinning yeah, so it, it was start spinning roughly around 720, 720 watts draw. Oh, yeah, or oh, 730 watts of draw. Okay. Okay, because That's so quiet, so we decided to have the idea, why don't we make the whole system quieter? So this is a new thing that we've got. It's called Cooler Genie. It's okay. a new connector here. And where does okay. that go to? This box. All right, this box. What okay, does that this do? This box actually connects between the, the system and the power supply. Okay, so, so your, your, your fans, your fans and your pumps and everything runs through here? Yeah, your, your, your fence control will be here, based on this, okay? And then what happened is, this is a two-in-one uh, fan controller, so that means it gives you semi fanless function as well as fan delay. So, for example, okay. now it's turning off, means semi, semi fanless is off, so as you can see the light is keep going out and then it's spinning, okay? And then if you say you're a quieter person, you don't want it very noisy, you can say like 35% or 45% 45 of semi fanless, so just like that. Oh, nice. So it won't, see, it stopped. It won't move until the system told the box. But then move what, the what happened when it start to heat up CPU, for example? No, no, no. This is just a demo. It's not really a CPU. It's just you know, yeah, standing here. Yeah, I'm saying if, for example, you mount this up and this is controlling the fan, right? Yeah, yeah. What happens if the heat sink gets too hot? Uh, no, no, no. The, the, the will it will automatically switch on the fan? No, no, no. It's still having another one here. This is just a demo. I mean, oh, it's, right, it's, it's right. supposed to be just, just like a fan. Just a stand for a thing. Okay. So I mean, you still have the uh, the, the cooling solution here, but you just need uh, the case fan itself. Oh, the case fans, right, yeah. right. So okay. You can so reduce a lot of noise. Okay. So the water block uh, will still have lower yeah. RPMs, but then the fan reduces the yeah. noise. Okay. Okay. Got it. Okay. Okay. And then and then when you turn the uh, pop, com uh, sorry when you switch off the computers, okay, it still provides power to this uh, box, so you will do the fan delay. Mm. So your fan will keep running for like 45 seconds. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, a bit of our innovation. Okay, great. Yeah. This is your uh, on the market right now. Uh, supplies. Th these three are, are going to be uh, on market very soon. Okay, this is the one I just introduced you with the wattage meter. Yeah. And then we have an, another one which is for mainstream market. So this is a DF switch. What does that do? Yeah. Uh, this is 751 and to 800. This, uh, let me show you here. Okay, when your system is on idle, okay, there's a standby semi-fanless, okay, once you press this uh, switch, yeah, press it, oh, yeah, 
the fan will try to do a reverse spin for 10 seconds. Okay. Try to flick away the dust. Try to blow away the dust. Ah, yeah, okay. because the fan is not really moving all the time. Okay. Yeah, so after 10 seconds, it will go back to the uh, normal operation. Okay, yeah. that's uh, pretty interesting. Yeah. Because, uh, yeah, all these spins, most fans just spin one way. By that's reversing, right. yeah, you get, you actually, yeah, it's true. Yeah, so it was 10 seconds and then it stopped and then go back to the. Uh, okay. Not this, uh, uh, yeah. So you can just press any time if you want. Okay. And then these are the uh, already yeah. on the market. Yes, and then, uh, I think I probably want to highlight this one a bit more. This is our new platinum. Platinum. Power, power supply. And then currently, this is the world small smallest power supply for 1200 watt what this is 1200 watt power supply yeah, 1200. It's size, 16 it's, centimeters that is tiny yeah so we actually produce a lot of power from this tiny machine so you can a lot of versatile for your case chosen so it's actually at 1200 watts let's let's check out the uh, uh oh yeah. sorry uh-huh 1050 and 1200. Okay, but it's all in this size and it's all platinum, yeah. 80 plus platinum. Yeah, and it will be a version in the market probably, uh, over hopefully, probably uh, by the end of July. July. Yeah. Great. Okay, and they all again uh, come with these three soft, cables. Yeah, cables. Yeah. Okay, so these are the two babies that we're talking about. Okay, and then again, this is the a new a Browns power supply. Again, uh, very very soon to be available on the market. Uh, it's 100% uh, Japanese cap. Yep. Okay, and then this one making it spe special is it's a bit a, a bit higher end uh, bronze power supply. Uh, it have the 100% uh, 105 Japanese capacitor, mm -hmm. and then it also come with this cooler genie that I'm talking about. This one, this baby. Yeah, it will come the, with uh, a pack. It's a, oh, it's a set. Yeah, it's a set. So so the user can experience the, um, the semi fanless and fan delay yeah. straight away. Mm. Okay, nice. Okay, and it's more like in the mainstream of what is yeah. five, six. 80 plus bronze is more than enough for mainstream. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then okay. this one has been released to the market uh, last year. Mm -hmm. uh, it's now Dior Fan, which is the, um, the traditional, the, one of the, our original uh, power supplies. Yeah. Okay. okay. And then this is the um, the, the world's largest wattage uh, digital fanless power supply. Digital fanless power supply, no fans. Yeah, zero dBA. Of course, no fans. And, yeah, and uh, what's, what's the 500 watts? 550. 550 watts. Yeah. So if you want a super silent PC, no fans. Yeah, and then uh, apparently uh, it won the, um, the German Design Award uh, this year. And we are the, 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 the one and only in this category to win. As a nice, player. nice. Yeah. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We covered everything. Um, I yeah. whether you, you have seen this one. This uh, is uh, SFX, SFX, right? SFX, yeah. This is currently the largest wattage hmm. power supply. SFX. SFX, yeah, 650. 650. Uh, gold. Uh, and it's and modular. It's full modular. But, yeah, because, I mean, by, by using the, <laughs> Look at the like size, it's like a, a burger. You can eat it like that. <laughs> it's tiny, it's tiny. This is good yeah. for uh, mini PCs, uh, which is an uh, up and coming market, yeah. So, great. Yeah. All right, I think that's pretty much what we code. We're, we're interested in a lot of the water cooling stuff at IDMX, so. Okay, thanks for your time. Okay, Thank you. Cheers. Thank Come you so on. much. Thank you.